Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's a qualifying match with Sharon High School taking on Wellesley High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. We are safer. We are more empowered. Somos más diversos. When we join together. Since 1999, Eastern Bank has given over $140 million, helping 1,500 organizations every year. So join us for good. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. So back in January, teams from all across Massachusetts competed at our virtual Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's competition. So the goal for each of these teams now is to become the next high school quiz show champion. And in today's match, direct, of course, from the comfort of their own homes, we have Sharon High School taking on Wellesley High School. And on the Sharon team, we have uh, Nihar. Nihar, how you doing? You ready to play? Yes, I'm excited. All right, Nihar is up and ready to go. Also, Jeffrey, how you doing? You ready for game time? I'm doing great, I'm pumped. You all look comfy cozy. Uh, Rahim, how about you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking, in fact. Uh, Richard, you good? Yeah, I'm doing very well. All right, glad to hear it. By the way, the alternates are Ritvik and Coach Zach Snow. And now, on to the team from Wellesley. We have Anjali, how are you, Anjali? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing fine, I'm ready to go with this. Timothy, you good up there? I'm confident. Confident and good. And Sebastian, how about you? Very excited. All right, Darren? I'm doing fantastic, thanks for Fantastic, you're feeling good, right, Darren? I'm pumped. All right, and the alternates on the Wellesley team are Josh and Max and Coach Carol Campbell. So here we go. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head -head round, a category round, and of course, a lightning round. Players have each been provided with a game interface to enable them to play from home. And we're gonna start with the toss-up round. All players on both teams are active and with the correct answer, can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. In this round, there are no point deductions for wrong answers. A green light indicates a correct answer, a red light, an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, if you're all ready, let's play high school quiz show. What quarterback signed a one-year deal with the New England Patriots in June of 2020? Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, or Cam Newton? Cam Newton is the answer facing colonial boycotts that hurt British merchants. In 1770, the British Parliament repealed the Townsend duties on all goods except what? Sugar, China, or tea? Tea is the answer. After reading a self-help book for parents titled Queen Bees and Wannabes, Tina Fey was inspired to write the screenplay for what 2004 film? Mean Girls, The Princess Diaries, or Baby Mama? Mean Girls, the answer. In 2020, what famous author faced major public backlash over a series of tweets viewed as transphobic? Dan Brown, J.K. Rowling, or Danielle Steele? J.K. Rowling is the answer. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is Althea Gibson. In 1957, she became the first African-American male or female to win a championship at what tennis tournament that is the oldest Grand Slam and the only one still played on natural grass? The French Open, Wimbledon, or the U.S. Open? 
Wimbledon is the answer. What is the standard international unit of power? Is it the amp, the watt, or the ohm? The watt is the answer. A group of pro-Trump militants broke into and ransacked the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. When was the last time the building fell to such a large-scale insurrection? Was it 2001, 1968, or 1814? 1814, the answer, when the building was actually set on fire by British troops uh, during the War of 1812. And we move on. What country has the largest population in all of Latin America? Is it Brazil, Mexico, or Argentina? Brazil, the right answer. In 1541, what Spanish explorer became the first European to discover the Mississippi River? Was it Francisco Pizarro, Hernando de Soto, or Hernan Cortez? Hernando de Soto is the answer. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Paul Alexander, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer at Eastern Bank. And here's my question. In 2021, what former head of the Federal Reserve became the first woman to ever serve as Secretary of the U.S. Treasury? Is it Christine Lagarde, Janet Yellen, or Jennifer Granholm? Janet Yellen is the answer. What John Steinbeck novel tells the story of George and his friend Lenny, two drifters in search of work? Is it East of Eden, The Grapes of Wrath, or Of Mice and Men? Of Mice and Men is the answer. To help attract the youth vote, what Grammy-winning teen performed My Future at the 2020 Democratic National Convention? Was it Selena Gomez, Billie Eilish, or Lil Nas X? Billie Eilish is the answer. At the beginning of The Fault in Our Stars, Hazel tells her mom she'd rather skip her support group and watch which of the following? Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Gossip Girl, or America's Next Top Model? America's Next Top Model, the right answer. Emmanuel Macron is the head of state of two nations. He's the president of France, and he's also a co-prince of what tiny country? Andorra, Monaco, or Luxembourg? Andorra is the answer. Now, a math question. If a ball travels five feet per second, how many feet does it travel in one hour? 1,800, 18,000, or 30,000? 18,000 is the correct answer. Free speech and paid speech are not the same thing. In 2019, more than 250 employees wrote this to what Facebook CEO criticizing the company's decision to allow false claims in political ads. Was it Jack Dorsey, Tim Cook, or Mark Zuckerberg? Mark Zuckerberg is the correct answer there. And that is the bell ending. Uh, the toss-up round with a score right now. Sharon High School, 430 points. Wellesley High School, 470 points. Nice round so far. Let's hear it. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next, but first we uh, pump the brakes for a couple of minutes and we get to know the players. We loosen up, if you will. Uh, I've got a question in my hand. Each of you will have a chance to answer it, and we're going to start with Sharon High School. And here it comes. If you could get on a 30-minute Zoom call with anyone in the world, who would you send that Zoom link to and why? And uh, Nihar, we're going to start with you. How about it? Uh, as an avid tennis fan, I'd send my Zoom link to Novak Djokovic, who I think is the greatest tennis player of all time, and I'd like to learn a few tips and tricks for my own uh, recreational gameplay. Wow, not Rafael Nadal? No. Djokovic? Okay. Uh, Jeffrey, how about you? Um, I would have to go with uh, Tottenham Hotspur great Harry Kane to learn how he scores so many goals and assists against teams like Manchester United and Arsenal. All right. Uh, Raham, how about you? Uh, I would probably give my Zoom link to Kane Williamson. He's a New Zealand cricket captain, uh, and I'm a pretty big cricket fan and a New Zealand cricket fan, so I would like to meet him. Really? Cricket? Yeah. That's awesome. A huge cricket fan. All right, Richard? Well, I'd like to be on a Zoom meeting with Queen Elizabeth II just to learn about how she got her immortality. Nice one. Uh, Anjali, how about you at Wellesley High School? I will go with um, Ocean Vuong, who's my favorite poet. And I want to learn as much as possible from him about how to write so amazingly. So poetry is a passion for you then? Yep. Good for you. Timothy, how about you? 
I've got to say the cellist Yo-Yo Ma, since he's an amazing cellist, a great music teacher, and I've been told by someone in a position to know that he's a wonderful person to talk to. Yeah, a great guy. He's actually made a couple of appearances here on the High School Quiz Show. Sebastian, how about you? I want to Zoom with U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg because I'd like to learn about how our country can become a global leader in terms of developing mass transit systems and high-speed rail um, infrastructure as we combat against climate change. Mayor Pete, nice pick. Uh, Darren, how about you? I'd call Gordon Ramsay so I can cook something for him and see <laughs> if he's nicer one-on-one -on -one than he is on TV. I really doubt that he is. But you know what, Darren, you give it a shot. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. It's time for head-to-head. -head, and you guys know that what that means is uh, you are all going head-to-head. -head. Let's do just that. <laughs> As a reminder, by the way, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. However, incorrect answers now result in a 10-point deduction. If a player does not provide an answer in the three seconds granted, there is no impact on the score. So if you guys are ready, let's go head to head. Taoism is a religion and philosophy that originated in what country, China or Japan? China, the answer. Actor David Schwimmer originally turned down what role on Friends that made him famous? Ross or Chandler? Ross is the answer there. Who served as U.S. Secretary of State during the first term of President Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton or John Kerry? Hillary Clinton. In Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief, 12-year-old Percy, discovers He's the son of which Greek god, Zeus or Poseidon? Poseidon is the answer. What chemical element is added to table salt to help prevent goiter, a swelling of the thyroid gland? Is it chlorine or iodine? Iodine, the answer. Uh, the World Health Organization is based in what Swiss city? Uh, Geneva or Bern? Geneva. Legendary twins Romulus and Remus were fathered by what Roman god of war? Was it Jupiter or Mars? Mars. And cookies decorated like traditional sugar skulls are associated with what Mexican holiday? Cinco de Mayo or Day of the Dead? Day of the Dead is the correct answer. And that is the end of the head-to-head -head round. We take a look at the score right now. Sharon High School, 490 points. Wellesley High School, 540 points. We've got a good round here. Let's go, folks. Give them a round of applause. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Hammer Time. Tenacious D, California Dreaming, Lost in Translation, Sink the Bismarck, and Good Trouble. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Once a team does choose a category, uh, they can answer all five questions with the option to toss one question per category to the other team. A tossed question must be answered, and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Now, each team will complete two full categories. They can confer and will have 10 seconds to answer each question, and each team will choose a spokesperson. So, Sharon High School, who's it going to be? Nihar, the spokesperson for Sharon High School. Wellesley High, who's it going to be? Timothy will be spokesperson for Wellesley High School. Uh, okay, so Sharon High School, not a big deal. You have a little ground to make up. It is a close match. But the good news for you guys is you get to choose the first category. So what's it going to be? Uh, Jeffrey, you know, what do you want to do? Translation. What is Say that? that again? Tenacious D. I say go with translation. All right, let's go Lost in Translation, Billy. Okay, thank you, Nihar. Here we go. Lost in translation, these are questions about foreign words and or phrases. And for 10 points, what two-word French phrase is commonly used in English to say, have a nice trip? Bon voyage. Yeah, bon voyage. All right, um, Billy, we'll go with bon voyage. Final answer. 
Yes. Bon voyage it is. Now for 15 points. What 1982 film written by Steven Spielberg is titled after the German word for noisy ghost? Do you guys know? No. Noisy ghost. Uh, Need an answer, Nihar. Uh, no answer. Uh, poltergeist. Uh, for 20 points, what Hindi word refers to a traditional Indian milkshake typically made from yogurt, spices, and fruits such as mango? Uh, Billy will go with, yeah, Billy will go with Lassi, final answer. Final answer, Lassi, and that is a correct answer. Now for 25 points, what five-letter Yiddish word for blockhead means a clumsy, awkward person? Oh, uh, schmutz. Need an answer, schmutz. Nihar. I don't think it is. Schmutz? <laughs> no. Klotz is the correct answer there. Good try, Nihar. Uh, now for 30 points, uh, literally meaning uh, under voice. What two-word Italian phrase means speaking in a low, soft voice so as not to be overheard? Uh, any, anything? Need an answer. Uh, no answer. No answer. No answer. Sotto voce is the answer. And uh, now we go to Wellesley High School. You'll need to choose a category, team. Should we go with California Dreaming? Sure. California Dreaming it is. Okay, Timothy, then it is, if you say so. Uh, these will be questions about the great state of California. For 10 points, in July 2020, as California faced a second surge of COVID-19, what governor ordered a second state lockdown? Gavin Newsom. Yeah, Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom is our final answer. Thank you, Timothy. And Gavin Newsom is the correct answer. Now for 15 points, what California mountain is the tallest peak in the lower 48? Mount Shasta. Yeah, I think it's Mount Shasta. Well, isn't that in Washington? No, Mount Shasta isn't California. Final answer, Timothy. Okay. Uh, final answer is Mount Shasta. No, Mount Whitney is the correct answer. Now, for 20 points, often ranked the world's number one public university by U.S. News and World Report. What is the oldest school in the University of California system? It's going to be it UCLA, right? I, know, I think it's yeah. Berkeley. I think it's Berkeley because Berkeley is... Final answer, Timothy? Yeah. I think final answer, UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley is correct. Now for 25 points. Hailed as one of the greatest albums of all time, Pet Sounds was released in 1966 by what quintessential California band? The Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. Final answer, Beach Boys. And Beach Boys is correct. Now 30 points. A heroic statue overlooking San Diego Bay commemorates what conquistador who was the first European to explore the coast of what is now California? Final answer, Tim? I guess no answer. Juan Cabrillo is the answer. And now we go back to Sharon High School. You'll need a category team. What's it going to be? Uh, you want to do Tenacious D, Jeffrey? Or, uh, what about or, is good? Yeah, OK, fine. Yeah. We'll need a category, right. Nihar. Tenacious D. Tenacious D, it is. All answers begin with the letter D. For 10 points, the Swedish chemist. Alfred Nobel, benefactor of the Nobel Prize, is most famous for having invented what in 1863? Dynamite. dynamite. Right. Um, Billy, we'll go with dynamite, final answer. And dynamite is the correct answer. For 15 points, once known as Florence on the Elba, what German city has rebuilt since it was firebombed by the Allies in 1945? You know, Yep, uh, Billy will go with Dresden, final answer. Dresden is right now for 20 points. What term refers to a type of cell that contains two sets of chromosomes, one set inherited from each parent? Right. Diploid, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Billy, diploid, final answer. And it's the correct answer. Now, 25 points. Moist air at the equator rises as it's heated by the direct rays of the sun. Uh, this creates an area of calm or very light winds known as the what? Doldrums. What's it called? Yeah. Doldrums? Doldrums, yeah. All right. Uh, Billy, we'll go doldrums. Final answer. Doldrums is the correct answer. And now for 30 points. French for hobby horse. What nihilistic arts movement began around 1916 in Zurich's famed uh, Cabaret Voltaire? Yeah, how do you say hobby horse in French? Three of us French. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Should we just say no, no answer? Need an answer, Nihar. Uh, no answer. Uh, the answer is Dada. And now we move back to Wellesley High School. You'll need a category team. What's it going to be? Maybe Good Trouble. Jeffrey, do we agree with that? Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> good Trouble it is. Okay, Timothy, Good Trouble it is. And questions about protest movements for 10 points. What global network to eradicate white supremacy was created in 2013 by three black women activists in response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's killer, George Zimmerman? Black Lives, black Lives Matter. Matter. Final answer, Black Lives Matter. Final answer, Timothy? Black Lives Matter. Okay, and that's correct for 15 points. In 1930, who challenged British colonial rule in India by leading a 24-day march against the British salt monopoly? Gandhi, right? Oh, my Gandhi. Gandhi. Yeah. yeah. Final answer, Gandhi. And Gandhi is the correct answer. Now for 20 points. Fire Drill Fridays, a weekly protest in Washington, D.C., to urge the government to address climate change, was launched in 2019 by what star of 9 to 5 and Grace and Frankie? Need an answer, Timothy? I think the answer is no answer. No answer. The answer would have been Jane Fonda. Now for 25 points, named after a KKK Grand Dragon and U.S. Senator, what Alabama bridge was the scene of 1965's Bloody Sunday when John Lewis and other civil rights protesters were brutally beaten by police? It was Edmund Pettus. Yeah. Okay, final answer is Edmund Pettus. Edmund Pettus Bridge is the correct answer now for 30 points. Known for radical tactics that included hunger strikes. What suffragette and leader of the National Woman's Party organized protesters called the Silent Sentinels? Uh, I'd say Susan B. Anthony. Should we go with that? Uh, Timothy, you have a final answer? Are we sure about that? Are, are, we, going with, are we going with that? Sure. Need an answer, Timothy. Okay, I guess yeah. my answer is Susan B. Anthony. Uh, Alice Paul is the answer. And that's the bell ending this category round. The score right now, Sharon High School, 565 points. Wellesley High School, 600 points. It is a close matchup. How about it for both teams? <laughs> Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. It's the lightning round. All players on both teams are active and with a correct answer can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points and a decision not to answer within the three seconds provided will not impact the score. There will be 10 questions in all. So teams, if you're ready, so am I. Good luck and here we go. The U.S. Constitution was written during the summer of 1787. In what city, New York or Philadelphia? Philadelphia, the answer. In Greek mythology, who would ferry the souls of the dead to the underworld? Was it Karen or Anubis? Karen is the answer. What Canadian province borders the U.S. state of Washington, British Columbia or Alberta? British Columbia. What metric prefix denotes one million, mega or giga? Mega, the answer. In the dystopian novel Brave New World, the state controls society with what drug, kappa or soma? Soma is the answer. Also known as the Great Indian Desert, what large desert forms a natural border between India and Pakistan? Is it the Tar or the Kalahari? The tar is the answer. What element is alloyed with iron to make steel, tin or carbon? Carbon is the answer. What fictional town is the setting of the Netflix series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina? Is it Greendale or Riverdale? Greendale. What river runs through Baghdad, the Tigris or the Euphrates? The Tigress. How old was John F. Kennedy when he became our nation's youngest elected president? 44 or 43? 43 is the correct answer there. And that's the bell ending the round. The winning team uh, this week 
is Wellesley High School with a total score of 960 points. Sharon High School this week, 865 points. So congratulations to both teams for a great round. So Wellesley High School now will advance to the next round where they will play against Boston Latin School. Please join us next week for the match between Belmont and British International. And don't forget, you can play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll see you all next week. Thanks, everybody. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. There's been a big increase in both home improvement projects and in home values, too. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance and make sure your coverage is keeping up. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org.